What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by some very good friends of mine. Derek. Alyssa. Martin. All right. Tonight, Furnace, uh, designed by Ivan Lashin. Uh, you might know the name from Smartphone Inc., uh, former uh, lead developer over at uh, uh, Cos Cosmodrome games. Uh, and this one is originally published by Hobby Lobby, not <laughs> Hobby World, and now uh, published by Arcane Wonders. And Arcane Wonders was also kind enough to uh, sponsor this, uh, this stream tonight, as well as provide us with what was, at one point, just about the only uh, uh, copy from Arcane Wonders uh, in existence. So big thanks to Robert and everybody over at Arcane Wonders for that. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Um, oh no, we had a we had a we had a glasses disaster over there. You all right? Yeah, I'm I'm just fine. I found it. Okay, okay. all right. Hey, all all is all is well. All yeah, right. I'm no longer going to scratch my nose off. All right, excellent. Uh, so uh, when this was set in front of us, like here give it a try and we didn't really know much about it when we got started and come to find out it is a really very stripped down or uh, uh, it's one mechanism at its core done really really well and we've had a lot of fun with this anyway enough about that let's just go ahead and get into it so y'all ready I yep. assume y'all are ready. Hopefully you like auctions, because, yo dog, I hear you, uh, this game's all about auctions. All right, so, Furnace. The players take on the roles of 19th century capitalists, building their industrial corporations and aspiring to make as much money as they can by purchasing companies, extracting resources, and processing them in the best combinations possible. All right, so what are you looking at? Well, first off, each of us takes on the role of a capitalist. Each of what we actually just randomly drew our four capitalists out here, as you can see. And we all start with a corporation or a company, uh, a starter company that you can see that's already in front of all of us out there. Then here in the middle, we have the uh, the companies that are going to be available in the first round four players there are eight of them and then the various resources we have coal we have iron we have oil and we're going to call these wrenches or upgrade tokens six and one half dozen the other and then money so we have a bank over there then we have the round track over there and we have a stack of company uh companies that will come out as the game goes on now the deck is randomized. There is no, these are in the first round, those are in the second. No, it's just randomized, and that is uh, what came out and the order in which it came out. For each of the individual players, we all have a player marker that signifies what color we are. We all have auction tokens in our color. Some of us may have a neutral in addition to that. And then that's pretty much everything that there is to this game. There are some multiplier tokens that are available if you run low on those, so on and so forth. But that's pretty much everything you're looking at other than the first player marker. So. What are you doing in this game? Well, the game takes place over four rounds. As you can see in the round marker there, four rounds. Each round has two phases. The two phases are an auction phase and then a production phase. The auction phase is the meat of the game, though, really what it is. Mm -hmm. The auction phase consists of everybody in player order going clockwise from whomever has the first player marker to place out, they must do, they must place out one of their auction markers. There are only two rules as to what company, how the bidding works for an auction marker. The first one is there can't be two markers by the same player. So 
If I've already put a marker on that company, I cannot bid again. Pretty simple on that. The other rule is you cannot put the same number that is already on there regardless of by what player. Pretty simple in that regard. Once all of us have played all of our auction markers, then we're going to resolve the companies left or right. And if there's no marker on it, then just pass, it gets discarded, move on. These will get resolved left to right. I'll go into the details of that here in a minute. After that, we go into a production phase. Production phase is really simple. It's going to be an input-output type of production, ultimately trying to get money. Whoever has the most, per, uh, the most money at the end of four rounds wins. It's that simple. But let's go ahead and go over this a bit more in detail. So, in the auction, as I said, on your turn, you place one of your markers out on one of the eight available in a four-player game. Uh, company cards out there, keep going until we've all run out of markers. Pretty simple. When that happens, then we're going to resolve these left or right. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and say we have already resolved all of these cards with this card. Anybody the highest bid, the highest number on there, is going to win the card to add into their tableau. However, every player that has an auction value token on it below the winning bid will then get compensated. What is the compensation? The compensation is what's shown at the very top of the card. If it just shows some resources, you get that number of resources multiplied by the auction value number that you have out there. So in this case, Derek has a two out there, two coal, he would get four coal. You must take four coal, you cannot choose to take less coal. I can't imagine why you would ever want to, but <laughs> you are in fact uh, mandated, you have to take that. The other thing that could happen is it may have an import or input output. So instead of that card, let's say it had been this one. In this case, Derek could take two steel if he has two, or up to two steel, and then convert one steel into one oil up to two times. I think yeah. that's a better way of saying that. Yes. Pretty simple. Could do it zero times, could do it one time, could do it up to two times. That's right. The winner of the card never gets the compensation. Why? Because they get the card to their tableau. That's their compensation. That makes sense, right? Pretty simple. We resolve these left or right. Now, why that matters is because, I don't know, maybe you want to bid low on this, hoping to be able to get outbid on that to get steel, so that you then can possibly be outbid over here to then <laughs> be able to turn that steel into an oil because maybe you have something that is going to create money with oil. Does that make sense? We do that left or right, all eight cards. And then, after we have then gotten all of our cards, the winners have gotten their cards, everybody's been compensated out here, then we are going to run our engine. Now, let's talk about the anatomy of a card just for a second. The beginning uh, for some of these are, this one is a starter card, these are regular company cards. The beginning of the game, whatever your starter company is, you're going to get that resource once and only once at the beginning of the game. After that, when, you, when we go into the production phase, this is done simultaneous. This can be done in any order that you wish, but once you start activating a card, you cannot go back to activating that card. You either do as much or as little as possible on that card up to the number of times shown on it, and then you're done with that card. So, for instance, taking a look at this one, if I had won this card, I wouldn't have gotten compensated for it, but I will get two coal for this card, boom, done. But you'll notice that there is some unshaded stuff down here at the bottom of these two cards. That is going to say that what that is is telling you when this card is upgraded, what is available on the other side when it's an upgraded company. You might be asking yourself, self, how do I upgrade companies? Well, I'm glad you asked because everybody's starter card has has some version of this on it. Everybody gets a gear or an upgrade token, and then you may, up to two times, take two coal and turn it into some amount of money, two, four, whatever it may be. But then you'll notice down here, have an upgrade token and a 
coal turned in back to the uh, supply and you may then do that any number of times to upgrade any number of companies. So what that means is when I activate this card, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And if I had say two upgrade tokens and two coal, I then could upgrade both of these cards. But once I'm done running this card, I can't then come back to it to upgrade it because I got coal from, no. Once you activate this card, that's it for that round. So once you've upgraded it, then you flip it over and oh, hey, look, if I haven't activated this card yet, I not only will get the two coal, but then I can turn up or I can turn steel into money up to four times as it shows there. I think that's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to belabor that anymore. The important thing to know though is I cannot, and I'm reiterating this, I cannot say, hey, I want this upgrade and I have, say, one coal to then be able to do this to upgrade this, to then be able to come over here to run this card to get the two coal to then come back and run it that in the middle. You cannot do it. You run a card and it's done for you for the round. In its entirety. There you go. Do that for four rounds. Auction, production, get money. Rinse and repeat, do that four times, whoever has the most money wins. There is a variance in which you then, uh, when you win a card, you have to either put it all the way to the left of your existing buildings, all the way to the right of your existing buildings, or in between existing buildings, but once it's set there, it's set, and then you have to run it left to right. We are not playing with that variant tonight, but just know that it's available to you if you want. And that, folks is furnace. Any questions? No good. Let's get started. Uh, Martin, I assume you have your deck, good sir. I which, do. Which one do we have tonight? This is uh, called The Grand. Very Art Deco in its uh, well, quality. <laughs> Wait for everybody. Well, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 is, is, mm. all right, so well. Alyssa is going to start. All right. <laughs> So, just throw that over there somewhere for you. It's a good draw. Now, the other thing that I want to point out for everybody at home is this would be, this is not a long game. Keep that in mind. But it would be ridiculously long if we took time while everyone's running their engines. So, how this is going to work tonight is we're going to simultaneously run all our engines when we get to the production phases. And then in the final round, we may go step by step for every player, or you guys will just follow along with my running of the engine tonight. And that's that. These two need to be put somewhere in that deck. This one is out of the game. All right. And I apologize, but I didn't get the names of what our capitalists our people. are. But we want to go, starting with Alyssa, with what your uh, special power is. Whenever I get compensated, I consider my disc being one higher. Ooh. All right, so a one is a two, a two is a three. So whenever you lose an auction, yeah. in other words. You okay, get, all right. Extra stuff. All right. During the auction, I can ignore the two placement rules. So I can place on a, a bid I've already made, or I can place the same number that somebody else has bid. However, if it's a tie, I get compensated. I don't win the card, which may Ooh. be a good thing, of course. That, that could work. You know, for every, every time we've played this, I don't think we've seen that one come out yet. Yeah, that, yeah. I like that. That's clever. Um, mine is whenever upgrading cards, so right here normally is a gear and a uh, coal to be able to upgrade, I can instead use steel instead of upgrade, but I can't just keep my upgrade tokens. I have to spend those first. All right, cool. I have an extra two to bid with. Um, this two is generic, so I can place it wherever I want, and it doesn't count as one of my player colors. I think. No, it uh, it still you it cannot still you cannot uh, it is considered so you okay. can't play it on something that already has red out there. Okay. All right, um, so over under four and a half glory to Rome's. Even though it's only four rounds, this is going to be uh, this is going to be brutal. It's going to be tight. Um, all right, welcome back, Dustin. All right, cool. By the way, uh, Robert is the uh, director of sales in marketing, uh, who's running the Arcane Wonders account tonight. So, Robert, thanks for this. Um, Alyssa, the floor is yours, because that... Do we need to go over what all of these do? I 
I, it, each building? I, I think they're pretty straightforward. I think it's pretty clear. Um, just know that that's the money symbol. So on the flip side, uh, turn an upgrade into five money, right? Um, but other than that, I think it's I think it's really excellent as far as uh, um, being uh, language independent outside of our uh, special abilities. But that yeah, said, yeah, absolutely, there we go. And so it begins. Mm. Yeah. All right. I just thought to myself, I reckon that's going to be a popular card, so if I put a free on it, I bet it could well be open and I'll get free metal, which would be quite nice. Oh, I hate you so much. Um, so you can break the rule, but we can't. So that's I can't true. place a three no. there, but you could have placed the three there. I could have placed Oh, well, I could have placed a two there, but I chose to place a three because I. You're a terrible <laughs> human being. Have I? Um, oh, I got that right in the first that's round. I was gonna say, I, that's the fun. earliest terrible human being for a long time. Well, everybody knew that. Oh, oh that's the only way we can get steal thing, this round. So. Everybody yep. get your starter stuff. So, like, I get two coal. All right. Oh, well, yeah, that, that's nice. But I didn't put a four on it, indicating that I wasn't sure I'm I wanted this to mat. absolutely win it. This mat is so nice. All right, so. But I'm going to make somebody else. Wow, yeah, hey, there is it. no way to get steel nope. otherwise. Nope. There is not. Mm. <sighs> this is terrible. And considering I need steel, and oh, that is. You're a hateful man. I know, Martin. It's, it's going to get worse. Glory to Rome to start. It's, it's going to be. Terrible. It's going to be worse for you after we all take our turns too. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Well, maybe steel will come up. Uh, well, you just got to use your four. Yeah, but then I get no steel. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that is the case. <laughs> <laughs> but my fear now... You can put a one on it. You get one steel that way. Wow, that is terrible. All right, well, um, I choose to not to play in your reindeer games. Done. Most money wins the game, Dimitri. Cold, hard industrialist. The end. Mm. This is the only other way I could see it to get steel, was to take that card and upgrade it. And I would get steel production. Yeah, yep. you don't become an industrialist by making friends. True. Nice. That was the... Okay, good. A big coal. I get four steel. That works. Or four uh, coal. That's really good, Martin. I need oil. That combo is already working to your advantage. It's excellent. Oil is cool. Golly. Y'all are just... No. Yeah, that's not actually... That's not bad. Um, yeah, because all these companies will run left to right. Yeah, I, I really don't like a lot of these, and I'm really, I don't want to put my one there for the one steal. And this is the crux of the game, right? That's right. Um, Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Which means Martin's going to win that. Since Derek's already played us four. Mm, that wasn't part of my play. Yeah. I know, that's why I didn't do it. Uh, but, uh, oh well. I was Claire for my first move. Oh, you can underbid. No one said you couldn't underbid. No, 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 no. That, that's something you implied. I never said that. Oh, I just said this one. the two rules. You can't have the same number out there unless you were Martin's uh, rule breaker. And uh, you cannot have two of the same color tokens out there. And this is considered red for the game. Boo. Generic. Hmm. So that could get an oil for me. No, it can't, because I can't even get that, because three or four. No. Hmm.
Trying to be bored, says, I missed the teach, don't know if it, uh, played the very easy to use bot for the two-player mode on Tabletopia, worked surprisingly well, which that's rare for an auction game. It is. I have not tried this two-player yet. Yeah. Nope. My fall would and be I, a winner unless I don't want it to be. I should point out, I have gotten housed every time I've played this. I have not come close. So to do I want to take... Well, an interesting thing, if I took this card with my Thor, of course I'll get two over four rounds, but if I went here, I'll just get all the coal all at once. Yeah. So, actually, I might as well do that and forget the card. Of course, it means I don't get the upgrade, but... Right. But yeah. Well, no, you're... Oh, 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 because you, okay, because your high counts as a tie. That's right. Yep. And he loses ties. Mm. I get a lot of coal that way, which is, I think, a good thing. Um, so I don't care about that card, because underbidding, I have one steal. I guess I could, but getting the more coal actually feels... Oh, I have oh, God. So a one, a one, one, two... Three, right, because the extra. So I can't get any coal there. I'm getting a steel there. I'm getting four coal there, which gives me six coal. So I have a bunch of coal. What the hell do I want to do with that coal? Ideally be able to upgrade, but I'm not going to have an upgrade token, but I will have, so I'd be able to upgrade one of the buildings that I get. Again, a ton of coal. And flip even more coal. Right. Um, I have no idea what I want. And this is where it gets tricky, is the what cards do I actually want to win? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a weird set. They don't really mesh together. They, don't, they really don't. So I, I think what I will do is I'm going to win whatever both those, no matter where I put them. So, because nobody can outbid me. True. So, the question is, what do I want? I think I'll go ahead and take an upgrade for a bunch of coal? Question mark? I guess I'll take that. I don't feel great about it, but all right. That upgraded could work really well for me for the future. Do I have a problem if I just ordered this? You've had a rough day today, Michael. It's okay. You're welcome, team player. <clears throat> Extra coal. Right? Hmm. Hmm. So do I want to allow you to have the card? Yeah, see, there's that There's that balance. Do I want to give you the card or give you the ability to get turn that steel into coal? It's Martin's turn, I know, but I'm just... And upgrades into points. Yeah. Interesting. You know, this could be a complete waste, but I'm going to toss it on anyway, just in case. And another thing I've learned is you don't necessarily want to have a bunch of cards. I've learned mm. you want cards that synergize well. Um... All right, so I can go there, 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 or there. That's it. Um, turning oil, in, that, that seems not terrible. It gives Derek a ton of, a ton of coal. Mm. No, no, this is a ton of coal. Everybody's That's right. a demi-ton of coal. <laughs> Everybody's going to have a ton right. of coal. Yeah, there's going to be a yeah. lot of coal. There's a lot um, of coal this round. This is very coal dominant, so as it was said in the board you get some coal oh i will have one upgrade token won't i and to be a oh you know what talk myself into it damn I, it i figured that would happen damn yeah. it yeah oh i waited because i was uh i figured you were gonna do that i didn't i didn't want to do four four of those right well those. yeah it, it, it's overkill but say la vie well hey dustin thanks i will take this one then that right. will be and you play your one and my one uh I really would like to go here. <laughs> I'm not going there. All right, where else can I get stuff? Uh, that gives me... You can have two coal, or you can oh, have two coal. I can give two coal. All right, so we're done with the auction. So here, let's go ahead and just bring it over here, and we'll just run this 
uh, one at a time. So obviously nobody gets the compensation, but Alyssa gets the card, adds it to her tableau, boom, done. Here, and one of the things that the rules recommend is stacking them up like this, um, because then you see, okay, I get one steal. Boom, done, I take my marker, done. I'll take two, two steel. steel there. Go ahead, yep, sorry. And then Martin gets the actual card. Yep. Very nice. And now, Martin, you do not have the two coal that nope. you need to be able to run that, so you just take your marker back in that yeah. case. Well, I thought that was probably going to happen, but on the off chance, it was worth a try. Okay. And then just take your marker. On. Oh, right, yeah. So keep going. All right. So, Derek, you get two coal. I get four coal. I get eight coal. Woo! That's a lot of coal. And take your markers. I don't think I had that much coal. Super coal. That is a lot of coal. I'll take the card. I'm not unhappy with that. And then, Martin, you do have a steel. Do you wish to turn it into an oil? Yeah, so I could, of course, turn that steel into a gear. But I'm going to get a gear anyway, and I can only really... Well, I could use more than one gear, but I've only got one card to upgrade. So I'm thinking I might as well turn that steel into uh, oil, because then I'll be able to turn the oil into money. Okay, so that's here. Yeah. Another card. Yep, and now Derek, you get four coal for that. I can't believe I won on that too. There, and then black. Remember, you these count as one higher for you, right? So you could theoretically turn oh, two. Oh, so I yes. should have had correct. Which one? Which one was it? I think it was one of the coals. I should have had two more, right? Mine okay. Is. All right. Or, or no, I guess the steel. I should have got one more steel. Because this coal is what I started with. I got yes. You're right. Steel. Yep. So now you can turn two of those steel into I will eight. Turn, no, I will turn one into it. Four. four. All right. Still so there's that. And that comes home to yours truly. All right. So now that that's done, now everybody runs their engine. So for instance, for mine. Um, everybody, y'all go ahead, do your own thing. So what I have, oh, I did I get, yeah, I got my steel. So this is what I have at my disposal. Okay, so what cards do I want to run? What do I want, uh, uh, want to run first? And I think... I want to upgrade this, so I think I'm going to run this card first. So I'm going to get one gear. Then I could, if I want, and I'll, I'll decide here in a moment to go ahead and convert that into points, but I have this and this, which allows me to upgrade one card. I'm going to upgrade that card. Then, because of my special ability, I'm allowed to use steel, as long as I've used all those first, to upgrade another card, and I will. So I then will use that to upgrade this card. And your starter card cannot be upgraded. So there. So all of those resources are now spent. So now the question is, do I want to do this part with what I have left, which gives me four bucks? I think so. So I'll go ahead and turn three coal into four bucks. So I'll grab that and there we go. So this card is completely done, kaput. Then uh, I have that resource left, so I can't do the top part, okay? But I'll go ahead, yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, three coal for that one. So done, that card is completely done. And unfortunately, the card's wasted right now because I don't have either of those resources, but it's there for me to run for the next round. Boom. Done. So I'm done. So I finished the round with those four re uh, coal and four bucks. I think maybe that's what we do at the end of a round. We'll talk about what we have. So, sure. Uh, Derek, what do you have? At the end, I ended up with five coal, one iron, one uh, barrel, uh, four dollars, and an upgrade token. I have 
eight coins and six coal. <laughs> Did I mention I get housed in this game? <laughs> I have uh, eight coal and four coins, but at least I upgraded one one measly coin. Yeah, and I upgraded two at yeah. least. Yeah, I upgraded, well, I upgraded one card, but now I get a lot of coal, so. Right. Yep. And I okay. have steel. All right. And this passes. Yeah. Oh, and I did not mention that. So that, um, yeah, just Take there you go. That works. There we go. So anything that was left out here would get discarded. Oh, flip them over. Oh, yeah. Oh. And it get them upgraded already. Woo. Woo. Oh, there we go. More steel. Steel's there coming out go. now. All right. This is better. There's All right. It. Stealing in. Wow. Everything involves steel. Guzzarino, I love a game uh, with this high a damn it per move ratio. That's pretty spot on, I think. Yeah, it's pretty, but it also can you just yeah, thank also you. you also get other possibilities too. So it's not like you get. Mm. I never feel like I'm stuck, which is which is good. All right, um, and second round. So there we go. Round. And now Martin will begin. And real quick, let's take a look up close at the buildings. Oh, this is this is a little bit better. It, provided you have steel going into the first round, you can convert it into coal. <clears throat> Literally only one person has that, which is Derek. Okay, but getting steel afterwards, convert it into oil, get more steel, and then maybe if you've converted oil, you then could convert it back to better. Uh, arbitrage. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, and no, Dustin, you didn't ruin it. I knew what you meant. I appreciate it. All right, um, Martin, your honor. Hmm. The magic. Make the magic. Yeah. Well, I really messed up with the first turn. So, hopefully I, things have got to get better. I'm not quite sure how. I, uh, I'm really needing steel and oil to make money. Oil, of course, is not easy to get hold of, but you can get hold of it if you've got steel. <coughs> Everybody wants steel. <laughs> Nobody's got any steel. So that's a problem. Well, I mean, look. Steel. Steel, steel, steal, steel, oil, oil. Steel, or steel. more steel. Steel generator. Right. Yeah, that one that's, actually produces steel. That one actually produces steel. One, one measly steel per go, but it is a steel. I was going to say, you know what one measly steel is better than? Zero measly, measly steel. steel. Yes. yes, exactly. Yeah. And the, the upgrade is gears into uh, money. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Seems good. I think I'm going to start low this time. I'll just do that. Please, somebody outbid <laughs> me. Please, sir. I mean, that's still a good card. Uh, uh, actually, uh, very. <laughs> If you want to let me have that also this round, it, right. I would be more than okay with it. I should have looked at the upgrade. Of course, upgrade yeah. possibilities are important. And uh -huh. this steel could be a very nice upgrade. I would say so. Even better than one steel. <laughs> two steel. It's <laughs> twice as good. I, I 200. <laughs> yeah. Is it worth <laughs> the, uh, the big one on that to make sure I get it? Yes. I don't know what you're saying, yes, but... Because it gives me three steel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it gives me steel if I do that. But I mean, this, I will get six steel. Well, three no, steel, three I steel, three steel, steel three steel. steel. But you have to get outbid to get the compensation. And there's the rub, right? Yes. yes. Yep. And you only get four times. Well, so, I, so if I put a four on it, I will probably get six steel by the end of the game. If I put a three on it, I would get three steel um, right now. Well, I think I'm, I'm going to go for two. I'm well, not even. I, I enjoy I, the three steals. You know what? Just I wanted to not get in the same situation because of the cards that I have. Yeah, there. you have. You um, need steel. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So now. Oh, so many. Oh, come on! Even Not really! That's it. Hmm. Oh, you go and put your three on there, can't he, you? He doesn't have a three. He's fine. <laughs> His three's already there. I was going to put my two on that and oh. just rake in the steel on this one. Um, no, somebody got there in front of you. Yep. You only get later steel now. It's really, really sad. You can have one steel, and then you get four steel.
I'm okay either way on that one. Mm. Yeah, for such a mechanically simple thing this is, this is, it's pretty pure in what it does and it does it really well. Mm. I don't remember if there's any other cards that do upgrades, but one upgrade for a turn, you want to do like lots of that. Yeah, you want to be able to maximize it, if at mm -hmm. all possible, right? That's right. So the most you're really going to get is four. So as you were saying, having less cards all upgraded sometimes is... Well, you can get more upgrade token than this is infinite upgrades. So right. But the token. key is you can only run that once, and yeah. so the order in which you run everything is what is right. hella yep. difficult. Um, but getting an, getting an extra upgrade token or two for rounds three and four is big. Oh god, I re just realized where I screwed up. Well, now you can rectify it, because you have a one and a four. No, I can't. Oh. Ah, oh, glory to Rome to myself. Wow, it's already I'll go, I'll, two I'll, just for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, what, what, one was very much for Martin. Okay. But let me, <laughs> let me explain what it is that I just realized I screwed up. I want to be able to do this. I can't. Because I'm going to get three steel here, which then means I want to turn at least one of them into an oil, right? Mm -hmm. Which then I want to be able to do this. I have these two tokens, oh. one of which I'm going to win a card. So in other words, I'm either going to win that one or win one of those. Ergo, I can't turn it into oil and then convert it into steel. So I'm a little pissed off about that. Oops. Yeah. But, oh yeah, that's true. That so I should have put the two there and grrr, or there, or there, just not there. <sighs> All right, well, um, if that's the case, I mean, yeah, sure, more steel. I'll have more steel. Yep. I realize that I allow y'all potentially a bunch of steel, but that card's going to work really well for me turning coal into steel. Oh, yeah. So cool. after this round, oh, yeah. for half the game, I should be okay in steel. Or as point. the first card, you change that one over. Is that steel? Oh, yeah, well. sure. Here, for the auction? Yeah, we can do this. Yep. Player markers are just to remind you of the player colors. That's it. Mm hmm. There you go, Doug. Hmm. What do I want to do? So what do you have left, Alyssa? Three and a two. Okay. Well, I guess you could tell because, yeah, dur. Not like it's that hard. Yeah, sorry, I'm hiding it from people. You put wooden, wooden tokens in front of me, I fiddle with them. Uh-huh. That's what I do. I should have just given you a handful of poker chips. <laughs> All right. Oh, do I want to give you steel? Steel is nice. Steel is good. Do I have... If y'all are enjoying the stream, like, subscribe, consider supporting the show over on uh, patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Hmm. Well, which one to go for? I don't want to get a little bit of steel. Could be handy. Hmm. So we've only hurt Edward today. That's <laughs> okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> All good. Hmm. I'm definitely going to get those two cards. White barrel is what uh, the upgrade will be. Uh, you'll get an oil or any of these. The white stuff is what the upgrade side show has in addition to. And the designer of this designed smartphone ink as well, Brian. 
Yeah, I'll just pick a little bit of uh, steel. Steel. So for me, the rub now is do I go ahead and convert one of the steel that I'm going to get here into an oil, which theoretically I will be able to use here to be able to get four points if I upgrade it, if I win it, because I'm looking around the board. Uh, Derek still has his three, and Alyssa still has her three as well, so I could get outbid here. Yep. Which means I just get more steel. Not the end of the world, but if that's the case, I have no use of oil for oil on any of the cards that I'm going to win, i.e. that one, potentially that one, or if I get outbid, I don't, and the cards that I have in my tableau. So oil really doesn't matter to me right now. So if that's the case, converting steel into oil doesn't really appeal to me. So the question then is, what do I do? And the only places I can put my one then is either there or there to be able to get steel. Do I want it earlier or do I want it later? And given where my markers are, it literally doesn't matter other than Martin's got a marker there, Alyssa. No, nobody has a one out. It literally doesn't matter if that's what I'm doing. Boom, done. There you go. Hmm. What is Alyssa going to do? I, I like this card. I want it. I'll take four steel. You're right. Very right? happily. Yeah. And. And the, what do you have left? A two, right, Derek? All right. Yes, I do. And not a lot of places to go. I wanted some more steel. Can't go there because I'm wow. I'm getting both of those cards, and this one I can't. That one I can't. So I literally can only go on that last card. <laughs> so I guess so, too, right? I can go there. You could to convert steel. Yeah, steel to yeah. That's Into not oil. I'll, I'll do this. That if I do that once, that would be wonderful. All right. So we start here, starting with red. Do you want to convert the one steel you have into four coal? That would be no. Take your marker back. Thank Alyssa, you. it's yours. All right. Martin, two I'll steel. Two steel, please. And then get a bunch of steel, but here, remember, Alyssa, your special ability. Right. So I'll take one. two steel. I get three. Take your markers. Oops, sorry about that. And just take it. Just take it. I'll take four One steel. and four, respectively. Thank you. And, and take it. There. One more steel. Ah! <laughs> that is not mine. I apologize. You so I steal. gave that back. You there. Dogs. I don't get to steal the steel. And Derek. Yes. Do you wish to convert up to two? You have one, one so that's three steel. There. Seems good. And now, there you go. So that's everything. Now it's a matter of running our engine. That's a lot of cards. Um, now, in the variant, these would have to stay in that order. We're not playing that, so I can, I can move these and run these in whatever order I want. And this is where, this is why simultaneous uh, here matters, or, you know, saves time. I have no oil. Upgrading this card doesn't matter to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and run that one and get my two coal to start. So that one's done. And let me go ahead. What can you all see? I can put all my stuff right there. There we go. Give me another one of these. Uh, this one, this, this. two coal into money, but upgrading coal into steel. I want to upgrade this, so I don't want to run that yet. Here, I don't necessarily want to run this yet, because I'm going to be able to get a gear there, so I'm going to hold off. Oh, this is already upgrade. Well, yeah, so I want to wait on that. That exchange rate kind of sucks. A steel for two bucks is not so hot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and run this one next. So I'll get Sorry, one upgrade. And we'll upgrade three. And, oh, but the problem with that is I 
can't upgrade multiple cards because, or I can't upgrade without spending it because I have to spend that first. I will go ahead and spend three coal to go ahead and get four bucks. So I'll take that six card. and give up a two. All right. So then upgrades. Four. So that's the problem. Do I want to upgrade that? And I definitely want to upgrade this. Is it worth the five bucks to be able to convert that steel? That's the question. Four, and I spend those four. Hopefully, I'll be able to make better use of that next turn. It, I'm sacrificing five points if I upgrade this. Okay. Convert. Because I would be able to do this for next turn. Two of these. I would have a bunch of steel. I'm going to have a bunch of coal. Oh, I don't know what's more important. Do I forego upgrading completely this turn? To be able to get the five points. If I lose by five, then I'll blame myself there. I will go ahead and upgrade so that and a coal. I will upgrade this, and then I see no reason not to go ahead and spend a steel in this because of my special ability to go ahead and upgrade that as well. Oop, that one's been run. That one's been run. These three have not been run yet. And this is what we have left. So now I will go ahead and run this one, which will give me three coal. And do I turn two of those in? I will. I will turn two steel into four points, turning the one in to get five. Done. That card is done. This one, I'll go ahead and convert that into four coal. Thank you. There. So that card is done. And this one, I will go ahead and convert four of these into four steel. There. Now the question is, do I spend any of my coal for more points? I think I can have it, so I will spend two for two points. And there's my engine. Done. There we go. We'll see. We'll see if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Uh, 14 bucks, uh, four steel, and two coal is where I ended up. Uh, $17. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, is it seven? No, six. Six, six steel, two coal, and one barrel. I have $26, two oil, a steel, and a coal. I have a mere $8. Six oil, two steel, and an oil. And Alyssa's in strong, strong position. And we only have, and we're halfway. We're halfway done. Halfway done. Right. So fast. Here we go. Makes you want to play again. I mean. I want this map. Do I, do, I, do I get a cookie for having everything upgraded that I own? It's cool, too. <laughs> if you look at the, the front and back of this card, it's like um, the smokestacks aren't going, so it's like the it's quiet there. Right, like yeah, and the, yeah, and then boom, all of a sudden. Yeah. So yeah. I got you. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right, we got a little of everything this time. Edwards. It was like all coal, and all yeah, steel. So I, I am the first player. I'll just throw it right there. There we go. All right, so what do we have here? Let's see. A uh, bunch of coal, and then steel into Couple oil. Steel. Steel, ooh. Steel into upgrades. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then uh, coal into oil. Um, steel into upgrades. Nice that it comes after something that you can get steel from. Right. <laughs> hmm. So I, now all of those require all. Oh. 
So I think I'm really okay with, I think. Give me just one minute. Sure. No, I'm not okay with that. Uh, there, done. Final answer. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's pretty good, though. I mean, seven points is still high for any kind of output. And seven, it would be 14 if you have two of those items. So, still is a good card. But this is what I want. I want to come over here on... Uh, what was my plan? Uh, <laughs> <sure>. Shoot. <laughs> it was to... Yes, it was to do this. Because you guys are definitely... And uh, t uh, the tokens, if they run out... They're not limited. You just have three and five time multipliers, so if need be. Hmm. I almost did that. Mm -hmm. I almost did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's four it, steel to 14 points every time? I can, yeah. I can deal with that. It's killer. Yeah. That's the combo. I probably should have done that. The, and the good thing is, it's in here more, so <laughs> you will be able to do something similar. Oh, that's real nice, too, huh? Awesome. And the order in which the cards comes out are random, so you have to deal with that every round, or every yeah. game, right? Yeah, totally different each round, each game. What are you thinking, Martin? Okay. Right, because you can break that rule. Hmm. I think a couple of steels convert to gears will be handy. Well, I'm okay with getting in on a little bit. I mean, it's five points for me. And it's a good stall. <laughs> seems really good. Hmm. This is brutal. <laughs> Collected all this steel. Right. Ah, here you go. Here's this card. I can do useful things with steel. Um, steel does seem to be useful. One of the two resources in the game. <laughs> I just saw this. So I probably should have bid here with a two before y'all had gone. That should have been my first turn. I think. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Except two isn't going to win now. So <laughs> It's entirely possible that mm. does happen. I, I mean, I'm good either way. I like the card for what it does and also what it, what it produces. I mean, if I win it, I get a steal, too. Where? There's also that one for the upgrade. You know what? Because the oil for that or the oil there. So I want to... Fine! I don't like it, but fine! What? That is very generous of you. That was... That is a place where I can go get some steel. Oh, well, thank you. And I can get some steel, too. That's a good guy. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Team player. 
Unglory to Rome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I hate everybody at this table. I would just like to point that out. Uh, I think we guessed. <laughs> the when the first turn happened and you realized that you were going to be steel uh, deprived. Yeah. yeah, this is brutal. And then you took the card that didn't produce steel. That's probably, yeah. probably a, a turning point. But there are other cards that now you're going to get to produce steel. So how many of y'all out there have either never heard of this or never played it online? I'm curious. So what are you thinking, Martin? Hmm. Thinking which card I want to try and grab. I mean, I could just get full steel, but I think I'm doing pretty good on the grabbing steel department, even for my steel needs. Although the steel is going to be converted on that one, and then you'll That's get true. more, right? Yeah. But the meanwhile, I'm only, I'm getting, I'm only coming to convert two steel, and I'll get three back. And I'll get a couple of steel out here. Buy a really good card. Which much. Well, yeah, I'm not really sure that any of the cards are super, superbly attractive for my point scoring purposes. That's the trouble. I've got a reasonable couple of point scorers here. Yeah. So yeah. I've got some good point scorers to to roll with. Part of me is thinking I'll you know, use up some of this coal because I'm not really doing anything without coal. Yeah. Currently, I'm doing three upgrades at each round, uh, so it's uh, so it's not terribly exciting. I like the conversion you got going on though, because it's a direct relationship with the cards. I don't have to kind of do a bunch of work before I get to the other yeah. card. Yeah, this coal for points is pretty nice. Yes. Three times. Yeah, plus I can do this to get four more, so mm -hmm. it's... Ha! Huh. So it's generating Like itself. these two generate... Like one steel generates 12 points. So, Derek, where are you going to put your four? Um, I'm going to well, put okay. it on a card. You can't put it here, 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 or here. I, I know or where I'm, there. I, so it's on one of those three. It is. It is one of those three. <laughs> you are absolutely right. right. At the beginning, I was going to put it on that card that I wanted to, and then I decided that wasn't a good idea. I okay. will wait and place that at the end, because so, I didn't think anybody else wanted it but me. So for me... And I just tipped my hat. <laughs> I can get coal here, but... No. Um, I don't think you're going to put it there... Yeah, if you look I, at what I'm trying yeah, to do I, Yeah, I don't think you're going to put it there. So it's going to be on one of these two, and I need to guess right. Yep. I mean, I'm willing you to put it there, but I don't think that is really exciting because you get, it, you're going to put it there. That's that's my, my thought is... So, assuming you're going to put the four there, that means I'm not going to be able to get outbid here because... Only Martin and Alyssa have a one left. It, well, everybody has their one left for, for my two that I have. So, where can I place my two? I get four coal. Four coal, assuming I'm guessing right, can't. I own that card, which gives me two coal and a theoretical oil. Um, but again, I have no oil anywhere. This gives me a... Oh, I have done terrible. Or... I'm going to get, be able to get one oil, which the oil I'm going to need. So therefore, I guess that's wasteful. But Boo! That's terrible. <laughs> Boo! Boo! Why did you go there? That's a, such a great spot. All right, I guess I can't go there with my one now. Um, all right, so, but it does give me something good. If I go there with my one, then I could win it with the one. And I could upgrade and get a free oil. You, in fact, do win it with the one. I could win with the one. So, I'll try that. I'll do that. I'll take four coal, because I like coal. Hmm. The world is anywhere you'd like. Take it away. Mr. Rule Breaker. Hmm. I exactly, and Kelly, you're right. Uh, this wanting to outbid for resources mechanism is fascinating. It really yes, it changes. It yeah. just because the reward sometimes is better than actually yeah. winning. It, 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 it's what makes this game. Yeah, a hundred percent agree. All right, Absolutely. so we're done. We are. All right, Alyssa, win your card. Martin, get your two coal, and I will continue up here. Alyssa, get your four coal. 
Thank you. We are. And I'm, I'm just sorry. now oh. that uh, stuff, everything on mine is upgraded. I'll I will win with one. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Derek, you get two steel. Alyssa, you get four steel. Oh, it's a bit, a bit of embarrassment. I'm going to go here and just do this. I will turn two steel into two gears. I will turn one steel into one gear. That's the only space I wanted to go and couldn't. Oh well, can't get everything. Derek? Happy to get what I can. Just all of these come. Uh, take three steel. I'll take three steel. And Derek, you win the card. This is, whoa. Oh, you have three steel, of course. And here, unfortunately, I only have the two coal, but I will go ahead and convert the two coal into my first oil in the game. Sorry uh, Done. about the my cards coming over there, Alyssa. Oh, All right. I think I have room. So I've run my engine a couple we'll times. A little bit. You you do, and you have a little bit of room for uh, underneath the uh, cameras. But I'm going to not zoom in so y'all can watch everybody else run their stuff. And Alyssa, since you're, you're why don't you talk through yours, and I'll be quiet on mine. Um, and in fact, give me a second here. I will, yeah, if I, you I, will. I, I have a lot to do. so I will do this. <laughs> so I'm not sure even what I'm going to do. In what order? All right, there, Alyssa, go for it. Run right. through yours, and I'll right. just. We're gonna. St I'm just gonna start with the collect five coal. All All right, and then we'll we're gonna want to upgrade. So we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna upgrade, get an upgrade token, spend four of the five for four points. I guess we're out of five. Just, and, uh, for four. And then spend this and a coal to upgrade this guy. That's the end of this one. We will spend what we got here four nine. Here. I might as well do this now. So I'll get two coal and spend two oil and two steel for 14 points. to an oil, nine of these to 12 points. Ooh, so good. It's only one now. There, 12. Oh, that's the one, that's the last one. 240, 50. I'll do this one next. I guess we'll convert this Deal for four coal, and then those four coal four for four, four more points. In four stitches. So. Uh, what order? Ten. That represents five. And that is that. Once. And that was. Get one of these. And done. Get one of these. Okay. And I just finished mine. All right. Let me let me upgrade. And I get one. One more, 
do that twice for eight points. Oh, and this card here, I spent four steel instead of two steel. Eric? And then I could do upgrades. But I don't have any. Oh, I just totally screwed up. <laughs> I, had to do that. I had to do that first. I had to do that first. Yeah. Yes, they get a bit long for you. Uh, oh, thank you, Eric. You had a five on a multiplier and only kept one of them after. So there you go. All right. Um, I tried not to use the multipliers, but... I, I did just, A, to show it off, but also we yeah. were running low at the time. Yeah. So I have five steel, three coal, and what is that? 31 points. Martin, we'll go counterclockwise. Thank you. Um, I have 35 points, 3 coal, a couple of steel, an upgrade token, and an oil. That was a hell of a turn for you. That was a good turn, yeah. So I've got, a, got a something recent going now, but it's still pathetic compared to uh, oh, uh, this dominate us all over <laughs> yeah, there. We, yeah, it's I've got 60 points. <laughs> <laughs> two, two Holy steel, shit. Two I think I'm calling it now. I could have called it last go. <laughs> Sorry, 60 <laughs> points. I let you, you, you two, two steel, two coal, and an oil. And Derek is still working on his. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. Cards there. Todd, it looks like Alyssa's <laughs> playing a different game to Edward. Look, I like the game. I didn't say I'm good at it. <laughs> and I got steamrolled in our last play last time. It's just it, the cards have worked out well this time. And that gives me four points for that. Four plus five. Getting this card upgraded early and just having so much coal, I've been able to turn that into yeah. 24 points and open almost certainly get another 12 next time from it. That's... Hmm. That's gross. <clears throat> oh. I can Oops. Let me uh, bring these... Yeah, essentially this card, these two cards mean one steal is 12 points. That's... It's kind of gross, but... That... It, it, well, you know, if you can do it. Exactly. It's all about figuring out your engine, yeah. right? And, I mean, it becomes academic in a sense to where you're just running an engine. But there are decisions to be made in the order of which you do things, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. So, right. so 38, 2, and uh, 3 of coal or... Still steel. steel. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steel. Edward, it's just all his things. All right. All right. So going into the last round. It wasn't the most optimal. I think I lost some points by doing it out of order, but try to do better next time. Oops, sorry, too far. Yeah. And so there's three cards that are no, not used. There you go. So three cards, right. And Derek becomes first player. He has a couple that are behind the... Uh, yeah, up in the top left corner there, but that's all right. Um, right, okay. So what do we have? We have upgrades here. Those are being the main ones, and I guess that one as well. Yeah, I think it's and a good idea to follow the leader at the clubhouse because yeah. the way that you're doing it is really good. Yep. All right, Derek, you're up. All right. What do I want to do? With Thanks, them? Mark. And we should... Try just earning more points. Really easy. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> it's a hard balance. It's a really hard balance. Points are make your engine better, but yeah, points seem really good at this point. Um, uh, but do it there, there. I want to convert. I really want to do that. Uh, let's see what happens here. That's a not a bad play. All right, give me a minute. Well, right here, while, 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 you, uh, while you debate, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Mark, Mark's played this. Um, yeah, this is, this is ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shrey was like, you need to play this, because he had played it so early, and yeah. I, hadn't, I hadn't played it. And once I played it, I was like, oh, this is... Some games don't 
live up to the expectation? Oh, I had none because I didn't know anything about it when when uh, I thought uh, it was going to be too complicated. I thought it oh, it's be. it's extraordinarily simple. Yeah, it's just um, your strategy, obviously. So. You're right. I mean, no, I don't want to say that because last time I said, really, it's academic, I came back to win. And I, that's not going to happen here. <laughs> Let's be clear. But, uh, yeah. All you need to do is travel back in time and make a better decision. <laughs> With the first card. <laughs> and, yeah, easy peasy, right? Yeah. yeah. Everything comes up roses. I'm not sure what's best here, but keep an interest in keeping the stream moving. Okay. Yeah. I wanted one of those two cards. Yes, yeah, everybody wanted the big point point grabbers. Big point grabbers. I mean, they're, it's 12, 12, or 12, right? Just a different conversion rate. That's right. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> unless I lose that 12, which is what <laughs> could possibly happen. <laughs> uh, so there we go. That's All right. right. I have lots of money makers out here. I'm not worried about. Uh, I do need resources. So now it's just getting resources for me, really. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, let's do naked two. Alyssa? This would have been great for the very first round. Oh, yeah, that's... That, we would have fought, we right. fought over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what Christopher was... Yeah, that, yeah, that's a great first round card. Oh, yeah, this, if that comes this. out early, then... I mean, but if you win it, you're not terribly upset because... No, same thing here. Right. Because this one is like, hey, I'm losing, I'm getting... Right, yeah, exactly. But getting high strategy cards at the beginning also isn't a bad thing. Because then you, you can kind of formulate what you want to do in later rounds. Yep. So... Some versatility either way. All right, so let's change out my Martin. companies here. Indeed. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, the game plays quicker than what we're playing on stream because obviously streaming adds time. So yeah, I would say thirty to sixty minutes realistically. Yeah, that's pretty true. Depending on the APO you group, yeah. Yeah, and and Robert says most of my four player games have been right around 40, 50 minutes. I think the more the more your group, I don't want to say AP prone, because I don't think, I, while this has the potential for that, I think it's a matter of the more strategic players you're playing with, the longer it'll play, but I don't, I've never felt like it overstayed. So there's that. Um, I mean, I'm going to need coal. I, I, I feel like feel like that makes sense to me. Seems like it would work. Derek? Mm, yeah. Ah, all the point bearers. I don't really have a good way to make barrels. That's my only little drawback in this, this version of this game. Do it here. Yeah, there. that was a really good round you had, Martin. You had what yeah. eight points? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Eight to thirty-five. I'd say that's strong. That's a strong round. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a strong Fourteen round. plus yeah. four plus five. Yeah. Oh no. And I think you did really some well. Some of those as well. I mean, yeah, it was there was a lot added up there. Unless I miscounted, I hope I didn't. I was mm -hmm. afraid that I'm going to miscount. I do that. It, it's funny whenever I read the comments. Oh, so and so cheated, or or they just made, made a mistake. mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Melissa. I played with your character before with the extra resources. Yeah, it's, it, it, that's also pretty powerful. Yeah, and and that yep. and this one I wanted to see what this was like. And yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, these are all pretty powerful characters. Uh, uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know that I really want to win any cards outside of that one. So if that's the case, I'm just going to get resources. I think. 
the rest of this. Mm. That's four more points. Because this I already have in duplicate, so I don't think that's really useful. I don't really want to win any more cards, really. Yeah? <laughs> I, I have a few. Um, I probably should stack them like you. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll do that. Hey, Robert. Bart asks, uh, uh, any word on when this will actually be available in the U.S.? I'm converting everything already. I need like six barrels. So I don't need the barrels. It's funny how that is would have been super, super fought after in the first round. Oh, that now been, it's yeah. like... That had been in eh. C4. Whoever yeah. was first, was that's like the easiest... What do we got? Yeah, I'm but taking that. What do you got left? I have three, sorry. You have three. You have one. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great first round card. 12 steel. Or I guess maybe 10 steel, but still. Right, by the end of the game, right, yeah. All right, I'll take that. That's a lot of coal. Yep. And Alyssa, your last one. All right. What do I want? Let's see here. Gonna get, that's gonna get, I'm gonna get, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have like, it's just a ridiculous mm -hmm. amount of coal again. Oh, we almost went through the whole thing, huh? Yep, it's uh, three left over and then uh, Robert was saying that the uh, expansion will have more cards. Coming, uh, did he say last, next year? Available on Arcane Wonder site now, will be available at Gen Con Origins in full retail September 15th. Oh. So there you go. Yeah, soon. Uh, next year sometime, the expansion for this. Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, okay. And Corey says, uh, Board Game Bliss in Canada has five in stock at the moment. Oh, so four left. <laughs> All right, so, so I'll do that. Because I need one more steel to optimize my engine here. So for me... It's like, I'll take three. Do I want... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What does he want three of? Because Do I want a steel or two coal at this point? Is I'm sure I've not figured this out properly, but that's... Yeah, that's welcome to the club. That's all right. Yep. I'll grab a bit more coal. Yeah, I think I would join the party there as well. And Derek? I'd like something. You can get one steel. Or a card. I can get a card. Or a or card. steel. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, this, well, this seems good. Small. I can score four points from four. All right, Alyssa, yours. Alyssa, get four coal while you're at it. I get four, too. No, no got, you win no, it. You, you win it. Card. What? Four coal. Yep. Oh. Yeah, Martin loses ties. That's his oh, power. Uh, Y'all can convert. Derek, you can convert up to six. You have three, so you could convert. So that's one oil. It was not what I wanted to do. And Martin, do you want to convert? I did. Okay, take your markers. Sorry. Yes, I should right. do that. Winning, I, I wanted to win that one. Yeah, crappers. Well, and I will take my two steel. I'll take my card. All right, so Derek's going to win it. I get two coal. Martin, you get six coal. Alyssa, oh, yeah. you get six coal. Holy. I some more points. Thank you. <laughs> this card out of the game. <laughs> I'm very good at winning auctions. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> Martin wins it. Uh, Derek, you get four coal. I get six coal. Four coal. So good. Uh, you know what? There's my six coal. Done. Ooh, stick my finger. There. And Derek. I get that card. You get the card. Imagine that. Another card. Wow. One, two, three, four, All right. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen uh, cards. Um, oh, goodness. Alyssa's is far more entertaining than mine, I think, at this point. So, uh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me adjust that. There you go, Alyssa. The world is yours. All right. Well, we'll start with just the production here. So, I'll produce five coal. And a steel. So then let's see here. 
What do we got? We're gonna need three yes. upgrades that. Three. three. So we've got two coal left over. This I have no oil. So I can get one oil and that's it. So that doesn't make sense. That does. So I will go one. I'm not gonna have enough oil for that. Ugh. On that first one of these. Alright, fine. Here. Four points. Let's see here. I'm gonna, how many coal do I need? So these are done. That gives me one of these. And two of these. Not a ton. So right. I can't go ahead and do that. For four points. Okay. That's good. No, I can run this now. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna give you one of these. So shit. Run this one. So now. And trade one of these for one of these. And these nine for ten, 12 points. So that's done. Okay, and that's eight points. That's five here. They'll get two coal and trade in those two and those two for 14. And then my upgrades to two upgrades. So that's done. But I don't have any way to produce this. That's not And then we'll just upgrade that one. So, okay. I have a ton of coal left over. I did not run this, I did not end up with ideal here. But we'll just spend those four. And I think that's it. That was not as great as it could have been. Okay. Okay, we'll run this one next. Well, in that case, I'll go ahead and take over for a little bit then. So I have run those cards. This is where I'm at right now. I still have these five available. I've already done my upgrades and all of that. So I think I will go ahead and do this one next. So I will turn for, nope, I'm short. I can't do that one yet. Instead, I will run this one, which will get me three coal. And then I will turn two steel into four points. Turn that in, get a five. Done, that card's done. So now I have a ton of coal, but I don't have steel. So two, four, and four, that maximizes that for points. And I don't need any other, yeah. So I'll run this one next. That's gonna be all eight coal. So two, four, and eight. So that'll be four points and four steel. So four steel and eight points is there that card's done i'll go ahead and turn one i'll run this one next there into four coal unfortunately i had to use that for an upgrade so that's done that whee, done and last but not least get two coal and then turn four steel into eight points eight that makes that eleven where do we end up? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, there we uh, go. So I'm looking at 50, 60, 70, 71. Cool. And done. And your uh, resources at the end of the game are worth jack squat. Jack squat. I know I'm going to have a lot. Uh, four. Which, that is not efficient. Yeah. All right. Four, so. so this eight more points. 
71 liter in the clubhouse. I just wanted to throw that out there. There you go. Not for long. Yeah, I know. Martin, go for it. 74. All right. And this doesn't matter. It'll be a leader for even less. And Mike. Derek? Uh, 50, 60, 76. And 90. And there you go. Shocked. Shocked, I <laughs> yeah. say. So 90, 76, 74, 71. Hey, great The rest feature. of us have had a tight game. It, we really did. It yeah. really came down to it. And I'm sure there were a ton of mistakes <sighs> made. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, I should not have any resources left over. Oh, apparently minus four points. Apparently I can't count. So check that. Not 71, 67. That feels about where I live. <laughs> like mid to late 60s is about, there you go. Yes, I broke 50, so there we go. Uh, That's all my cards. So there we go. All right, cool. Um, Woo. All right, so thanks for the whooping. Yeah. Uh, appreciate it. My pleasure. That, right? <laughs> um, I, I consistently hear from Alyssa, every time on the stream, that close second. It's been four or five times in a row, so it was, it was getting a little tiring. <laughs> well, you uh, weren't a close winner. <laughs> so there we go. All right. Um, so there you go. That is uh, that is Furnace from uh, from Arcane Wonders. So again, thanks to Robert and everybody over at Arcane Wonders for sponsoring the stream, getting us the uh, the review copy. Um, and yeah, one one other thing that we we alluded to um, in chat, but the playmat apparently it's an add-on. You don't need it. Let's be clear, it keeps things cleaner out there, no doubt, but you don't need it. But if you want it, I think it is a benefit, but I don't know that it's, you know, necessary. But right. yeah. I, I would say it's the case for just about every player mat or True. game mat in existence. So there you go. All right, cool. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Definitely enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully you all did as well. Um, like Robert said, it's apparently there are five copies at Board Game Bliss in Canada if you go order it now. Or you can order it from Arcane Wonders website or wait until the 15th and it's available retail. Yeah. There you go. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon uh, with uh, Under Falling Sky. Under Falling Skies? Falling Skies. Uh, other than that... We were going to do Oath this weekend. We can't. Maybe Labor Day. We'll see about that. And possibly Oath on Labor Day. Possibly uh, studying Emerald. Right. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. There will be a stream on Sunday and there will be a stream on Monday. What they are, it'll be a surprise to us too. So uh, that said, I'm Edward. I'm Derek. Alyssa. Martin. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Certainly appreciate the support, y'all. Thank you, everybody. Go ahead. I don't want to... Well, I was just going to say, if you send us your thumbs, we'll convert them to steel. <laughs> <laughs> steel thumbs. Well, well played. Well played. All right. Have a good night. Be kind to one another. See y'all tomorrow afternoon. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Uh, well, and uh, from what we've shown, Alyssa will convert the thumbs at a better <laughs> to point. Directly to points. Directly to points. Leaving awesome. us with resources at the end of the day. Right. Reminder, this is an era of industrialization pre-OSHA. Stick your hands into machinery and give them your thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be the first edition of Study in Emerald, but we will talk about the second edition of Study in Emerald. So, yeah. <laughs>